Hi friends. Storytelling is a complicated business. Whether you're working on a screenplay, a novel, a short, it doesn't matter if it's fact or fiction. You're juggling characters and plot threads and inciting incidents and turning points and MacGuffins and red herrings and dead ends. That's a lot to worry about. So if you're thinking maybe somebody's written a book about writing that could help you out, then you're at the right video. Over at my site, story24.film, where I focus mostly on breaking down the structure of some of my favorite movies, I get asked occasionally for recommendations on books that might be helpful to writers. I've got quite a few of them on my shelves, or at least books that want to be helpful, so I figured I'd throw up a video with my take on which of them I find most valuable and why. There are more than two dozen books to cover here, so I'm going to talk fast and try to stick to the point. I've got selections focused on screenwriting, playwriting, storytelling, filmmaking, film studies, the film business, copywriting and advertising, and getting the work done, all of which are valuable no matter what kind of writing you do. The list here is by no means comprehensive, though. They're just the ones I happen to have in my library. So if there's anything I've overlooked, be sure to let me know in the comments. Also, I'll post links to all of these books below the video. Many of these will be affiliate links, so I'll make a small commission if you make a purchase after a click. That's always appreciated. Now, before I get deep into the list, I do want to say that even though I own all of these books, I've always been a bit skeptical about writing gurus. It's almost impossible for me to read any of the better-known screenwriting books without thinking fondly of William Goldman's famous quote, Nobody knows anything. So I'm going to give my honest opinion about which books I find helpful and which I find annoying, and most of them do annoy me at least a little bit. Books about writing can be great for giving you a basic understanding of how stories work and how they're constructed, but honestly, what I find most helpful if you want to be a better writer isn't so much to read books about writing, but to read good writing. You should be reading as many examples of what you want to write as you can. Read the screenplays, read the novels, read the short stories and novellas and graphic novels, read whatever it is that turns you on, and read the ones you don't think you're into as well. See how the writers who came before you did what they did or do what they do. Read the classics, read the latest bestsellers, read the potboilers and romances and the science fiction and mystery, and even the introspective literary twiddling. The catch, though, is not to consume it all mindlessly. Pay attention to what you see. When something surprises you, when you find yourself holding your breath, if you're aroused in any way, spiritually, emotionally, even in your loins, go back and take a closer look. Figure out how the writer did that to you. Try to understand what's happening in your own head. Learn from the experience, make a note of the trick that's been played on your brain, and see if you can turn it into a tool for your own writing. Go ahead and steal like an artist since there's nothing new under the sun. Shakespeare did it, and so can you. So without any further ado, let's get started. Screenwriting Books Screenplay by Sid Field This is a pretty good place to start if you're just starting out, and it can be a nice refresher if you're stuck. It's a good one to have on your shelf. Making a Good Script Great by Linda Seeger a helpful book with some practical steps to take when revising a script. Story by Robert McKee. I really don't like this book. Also, I've only read a little bit of it, so my opinion here shouldn't count for much. I came at this one rather late, and what little bit I did read seemed like pretty basic information. That, combined with McKee's arrogant attitude, turned me off. But hey, without McKee, we wouldn't have Brian Cox playing McKee, so there's that. Save the Cat by Blake Snyder. Here's a confession. I haven't read this book, even though I made a joke about it in my John Wick article but lots of people really seem to like it. Writing Screenplays That Sell by Michael Hogg. This is one of the first screenwriting books I read many, many years ago, and I found it helpful at the time. The screenplay I was working on back then ended up taking a silver medal in the Page International competition, although it never actually did sell, and I'm not sure what happened to my copy of this book, so I can't take a look at it again and see what I think of it now. Playwriting Books. The Art of Dramatic Writing by Lajos Egri. This is an old book, first published 1946, and can seem rather dated in reference and style, but some might still find it useful as a look at character and character interaction. Storytelling Books Inside Story, The Power of the Transformational Arc by Dara Marx A nice approach to story that focuses more on character development than pure plot, I do like this one. The Science of Storytelling by Will Storr I like the approach this book takes to exploring how and why stories work, rather than directing the writer towards any particular structure. Someday, if I have time, I'll finish reading it. The Masks of God, Volume 4, Creative Mythology by Joseph Campbell. After college, I spent a year living in and traveling around Europe. I bought this book in Dublin and read it as I hiked and hitchhiked through Ireland, Greece, and Italy, which are great places to be when you're reading about the old myths. When I finished it, all I wanted to do was rush home and write a book. It turned out to be a pretty mediocre book, though. Mine, that is, not Joseph Campbell's. The Hero with a Thousand Faces, also by Joseph Campbell. This is a classic. I imagine George Lucas read this and went off to write Star Wars. I guess Campbell worked out better for him than for me. 
On Writing by Stephen King. Another confession, not only have I not read this book, but I've never read anything by Stephen King. I've never been all that into horror, and I've sometimes been a little snobby in my literary taste, but you can't argue with man's success, and I've only heard great things about this book. A Swim in a Pond in the Rain by George Saunders. This is a fantastic book, highly recommended. I give it a bunch of gold stars. It's like sitting in on Saunders' seminar class where he analyzes all these classic Russian stories to figure out what makes them tick. Even if you're not into the Russians, uh, Chekhov, Turgenev, Tolstoy, and Gogol are all represented here. You'll learn a lot about writing and storytelling from this book. Story Circle Notebooks. Okay, this one is a self-plug. I've published a few blank journals featuring story circle templates alternating with dot grid pages that can be used for notes or storyboarding, whatever you like. Three editions are available, 30-page paperback, 100-page paperback, and, in case you expect your story notes to be housed in the Academy Museum someday, maybe, 150-page hardback. Or if you just want a downloadable Story Circle template, sign up for my mailing list over at story24.film, and I'll send you a link. If you're not familiar with the Story Circle, again, I'd refer you to story24.film, where I use this method to break down the structure of some well-known films. Filmmaking Books if you're serious about screenwriting, then it doesn't hurt to have a decent understanding of what goes into making a film beyond the pages of your script. And honestly, these days, if you're serious about screenwriting, then you might be better off writing something that you can direct yourself anyway. Film Directing Fundamentals by Nicholas T. Proferis. If you're not planning to make your own movies, then either this book or the next will give you a nice introduction to the director's point of view, which will be helpful in your work as a screenwriter. But always remember that you're the writer, not the director, so don't try to take over both shops in your screenplay. Film Directing Shot by Shot by Stephen D. Katz. But if you do want to try your hand at directing your own film someday, then maybe pick up this book and the previous one. On Directing Film by David Mamet. A slim, easy read based on a series of lectures David Mamet gave around the time he moved from working as a screenwriter into directing as well. It's possibly still valuable if you can get past Mamet's later enthusiastic embrace of the loopy political dark side. Film Studies Books. Narration in the Fiction Film by David Bordwell. This is a dense academic book with a focus on some dense old films, but if you get through it, you'll know more than most people about how stories work in film. Conversations with Wilder by Cameron Crowe. I'm a big Billy Wilder fan, so is Cameron Crowe. You are too, even if you don't know it yet. Hitchcock Truffaut by Francois Truffaut. A classic conversation about film between two great directors, this book was an inspiration for the Wilder Crowe book. 10,000 Ways to Die, a director's take on the Italian Western by Alex Cox. Alex Cox directed Repo Man, one of my 80s favorites, and here he gives a comprehensive rundown of just about every spaghetti western ever made. If you're considering writing a western yourself, this can be a good resource, although it does start to seem after a while like once you've seen half a dozen spaghetti westerns, you've seen them all. Backwards and in Heels, The Past and Future of Women in Film by Alicia Malone. I kind of adore Alicia Malone, and I'm also a fan of historical Hollywood. This book brings those two wonderful things together. Film Business Books. Good in a Room by Stephanie Palmer. This is a really helpful general life and business book by a former MGM development exec. It's a great resource for learning how to pitch your ideas and yourself to people who have the power to say yes but are expert at saying no. I do recommend this one. Copywriting and Advertising Books This section might seem a little out of left field when it comes to the type of storytelling that we're talking about, but trust me, advertising pros know how to tell stories that stick. They play with your emotions, they manipulate you into feeling a certain way, into doing a certain thing, into buying their altered reality. If you can do that, then you're well on your way to writing a successful story, or maybe even selling one. Influence by Robert Caldini. All about the psychology of getting people to agree to something. Use it to get what you want as a screenwriting professional, use it to develop characters in your stories, or maybe use it for both. Predictably Irrational by Dan Ariely. A look at how seemingly irrational behaviors are actually systematic and predictable, which makes this another potentially great resource for character development. The Wizard of Ads by Roy Hollister Williams. A collection of very short essays explaining principles of advertising and persuasion. The principles discussed here are entertaining and informative, and they're presented in a way that might also be a source of entertaining story ideas. Breakthrough Advertising by Eugene M. Schwartz. Highly sought after and out of print, this book is available used on Amazon for, last I checked, only $466.96. If that's more than you want to spend, try googling for a PDF that's floating around the internet. If you still can't find it, hit me up through the contact form at story24.film and I'll see what I can do for you. Getting the work done books. The one thing all successful writers have in common is that they finish the work. 
but that's easier said than done when distraction is part of the job description, since story research inevitably involves countless hours lost in internet rabbit holes. But eventually we have to bear down and write, and these are two books I highly recommend for organizing your work and life and maintaining focus. Getting Things Done, The Art of Stress-Free Productivity by David Allen. Highly recommended as a practical system for taking charge of your to-do lists and incoming tasks for both work and home. Deep Work, Rules for Focus Success in a Distracted World by Cal Newport. Deep Work is going to tell you to get rid of your social media accounts. That can be hard to do for an aspiring creative where social media is often part of the job. But even if you hold onto those accounts, this is a great asset for taking control of lost hours and redirecting focus toward hitting your goals. And there we have it, my quick take on the books that might help you corral your ideas and turn them into stories that you can be proud of. Please give this video a like and subscribe if you found it helpful, and do comment below to let me know if you've read any of these books and what you think of them, and also to recommend any books that I've missed. Thanks so much, and happy writing!